Hello, and welcome to AIM International's preparatory tutorials for the Information Certification Exam. I'm Steve Weissman, Principal Consultant at Holly Group and a certified AIM training instructor in the realm of content, process, and information management. I'll be your guide as we review the exam's major domains of expertise, and I'll tell you all you need to know to earn that passing grade. Today's subject is instant messaging, a key part of this special certification which AIM created to support you as you solve your organization's existing information-related problems and plan for its future. For 60 years, AIM has been the leading nonprofit association, helping users understand how to best manage documents, content, records, and business processes. This module is part of the Collaborate and Deliver Knowledge domain, one of six within the certification program. In it, we'll review the basics of instant messaging, including contact lists, presencing, or awareness, and file and link sharing. By the book, instant messaging is a system for electronic synchronous one-to-one -one or one-to-many communications. In the real world, it's more or less the typed equivalent to making a phone call, in that it's a real-time medium, hence the word synchronous. And contrary to popular belief, it's been around since way before there was an Internet or a World Wide Web though those two developments certainly made it more accessible and more usable than ever before. The live and in-person nature of the medium allows for much more than chatting, as the typing of messages back and forth is known. Once the connection is established, many other valuable interactions can take place as well. Sit and watch a contact list long enough and you'll see people's icons blink on and off as their owners log on and off to their instant messaging services. As you do, be sure to appreciate what's going on, specifically the ability to note someone's presence online without having to call or otherwise reach out to them first. Also known as awareness, this function can be quite useful, especially in a larger organization, when you have a pressing question but are not sure who's around to answer it or point you toward a suitable solution. You really can't beat it when time is of the essence, as it so often is, and it's a standard part of most collaborative services today. Once connected, participants in an instant messaging session can engage in two especially valuable activities, file sharing and link sharing. At the time the technology first became popular with ordinary people, as opposed to computer scientists, the ability to send documents back and forth was generally based either on email or Federal Express, neither of which was or is especially real time. As instant messaging matured, however, the capability quickly became a mere matter of clicking a button, indicating the file that was to be sent to the recipient, and off it would go. Links to websites could be shared with equal ease, and ultimately the medium was expanded to include voice and video as well. In this way, the technology was an important precursor to services like Skype, which took the concept to a new level. This module has reviewed the basics of instant messaging, including contact lists, presencing and awareness, and file and link sharing. Having completed it, you may next wish to review the one on instant messaging risks and responses. The material you have just reviewed is part of a broader program of study that prepares you to take the information certification exam. This proctor test consists of a hundred multiple choice questions and is delivered electronically by Prometric. You'll have two hours to complete it and upon passing you'll earn a professional certification that's valid for three years. For more information, please visit www.aim.org slash certification. Thank you.